Breaking news. Please stand by for another. C2C World News Now Current Event. Hello, today is Thursday, and this is the sixth day of October 2016. Hurricane Matthew is about to hit Florida after leaving nearly 350 people dead in the Caribbean. At least 339 were killed in Haiti and four in the neighboring Dominican Republic when the storm hit the two island countries on Tuesday. Many were killed by falling trees, flying debris and swollen rivers. Houses were flattened and thousands of people have lost their homes. Remote and cut-off areas are said to have been devastated and there are now rising fears of an outbreak break of cholera. Well, meanwhile, the outer bands of Hurricane Matthew have begun to batter the southeastern coastline of the United States. The storm is the worst to hit the Caribbean in nearly a decade and is carrying winds of 140 miles an hour. It's likely to remain a Category 4 hurricane as it approaches Florida. A storm surge of at least 11 feet is expected along the southeast seaboard. President Barack Obama has declared a state of emergency in Florida and South Carolina. Around 2 million people have evacuated the coastal areas of Florida, Georgia and South and North Carolina. Well, er er Errol Barnett from CBS reports from Tybee Island in Georgia. Fearing a storm surge of 10 to 12 feet, 15 inches of rain and hurricane force winds, Georgia joined South Carolina today in ordering mandatory evacuations for people on the coast. It also reversed 125 miles of eastbound lanes on Interstate 16 to accommodate those leaving. South Carolina did the same on I-26. I'm Manila Chan, sitting in for Ed Schultz, reporting tonight from Washington, D.C. You're watching RT America. President Obama has declared a state of emergency in Florida as Hurricane Matthew closes in on the United States as a Category 4 storm. Just moments ago, the president also put South Carolina on the state of emergency list. Packing 140 mile an hour winds, Matthew is the most powerful storm to threaten the Atlantic coast in more than a decade. An estimated 2 million people in coastal Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina have been ordered to evacuate their homes. Marina Portnaya brings us the latest from Miami. More than 11 million people here in Florida are under a hurricane threat. And with each passing hour, winds here in Miami are growing stronger and South Beach is already flooded. Forecasters say Matthew is expected to slam into the state in the coming hours, bringing up to 12 inches of rain and a storm surge between 5 and 9 feet above ground. 58 shelters have already opened in Florida. Another 84 are scheduled to open today. 1.5 million Floridians have been instructed to evacuate their homes, but not everyone is complying with orders. Earlier today, Governor Rick Scott said everyone in evacuation zones must get out immediately. Don't take a chance. Time is running out. This is clearly going to either have a direct hit or come right along our coast and we're going to have hurricane force winds. There are no excuses. You need to leave. Evacuate, evacuate, evacuate. Are you willing to take a chance to risk your life? Hello, everyone. I'm Susie Sa. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jeff Vaughn. Tonight we begin at 10 o'clock with breaking news. Hurricane Matthew lashing the Atlantic coast of Florida right now. A Category 4 storm that has caused and chased millions from their homes from Miami to the Carolinas. Oh, this is the very latest video we've received tonight. Strong winds and heavy rains pounding Port Salerno, Florida. That's about 50 miles north of West Palm Beach on the Atlantic. The eye of the storm is straight off the coast, about 50 miles out to sea. And this is Orlando late tonight. Severe bands of rain, as you can see, and wind extend 60 miles from the eye and have been whipping into the Orlando area for hours now. With more on this, KCAL 9's Andrea Fijii is monitoring the storm tonight from our newsroom with the very latest. Andrea? Jeff and Susie, if the forecasts are correct, the next few hours could bring the most intense storm surge to the central Florida coast and heavy rain and wind to much of central and northern Florida. This is the latest video from CBS TV in West Palm Beach. Strong wind, heavy rain, but no major damage or injuries tonight. There were concerns the storm could make a direct hit on southern Florida with 100 plus mile an hour winds. But the storm stayed about 75 miles off 
off the coast as it passed the area tonight. Miami, Fort Lauderdale and West Palm all spared major destruction. Let's take a look at some other parts of Florida as Matthew's effects have been seen throughout the day up the Florida coast. Two million people from Florida to the Carolinas were ordered to evacuate. And if they decided to stay and call 911, those people have already been warned emergency responders will not be able to get to them. Take a listen to some who decided to go and some who decided to stay. When he said, this will kill you, not can kill you, it will kill you. That was it. That was it. Once the bridge closes, so it's scary. You know, it's sick. Because then you're stuck. Matthew has already battered the Caribbean. Take a look. The latest numbers show at least 300 people have crisis there in a country that's already in dire poverty. The Bahamas were hit hard earlier today with 140 mile an hour winds as the eye of the storm passed right over the island chain. Some streets were flooded with several feet of water and there is heavy damage at the famous Atlantis Resort. A guest posted this video of her room. The windows blown out, rain soaked the room, but she posted that she was not hurt. Now, 2,000 flights canceled nationwide today. All major airports in Central and South Florida are closed. Here at home at LAX, about 20 flights in and out of Florida were canceled. And more cancellations could be expected tomorrow. I'll continue to monitor the developments and bring you the latest on our sister station, CBS 2 News, at 11 o'clock. Jeff and Susie, back to you. Well, KK9 meteorologist Evelyn Taff is tracking Hurricane Matthew for us tonight. Yeah, she's here with a look at where the storm is right now. Evelyn. Susie, Jeff, we're getting a look at satellite radar. I'm going to step aside and show you where Matthew is right now, currently a Category 4 storm, and you will see it is still slightly offshore. So there's a slight chance it could make landfall, even if it doesn't, still providing most of the Florida coast with serious storm surge and some serious rain as well, up to 10 inches in some spots. And I will tell you, there is a chance it could make landfall. If it does, it would be later tonight, Cape Canaveral. That's where we could see it happen. That's going to be our best shot of landfall. But right now, you'll see the outer bands moving just along the coast of Florida, the east coast of Florida there. Remember, a Category 4 storm eventually turning to a Category 3 storm in the Gulf Stream. Very, very warm. So that actually fuels the storm, makes it intensify, and that's what we're seeing right here as it moves into Daytona Beach, Jacksonville, and the Carolinas affected as we head into the weekend. The storm also looping right back around. We will continue to keep you posted on Matthew and our local forecast ahead. Back to you. This has been a C2C World News Now current event. Stay safe, everyone.